Hey guys, it is Andre, and this is the part two to my like sticker D stash thingamabob in my last video, which I will link down below if I remember. Who knows if it'll actually happen? I went ahead and decluttered, de stashed some of my character stickers and also redid my organization as far as putting my new labels on them and making it beautimous with new um, inserts and everything. And I've been using it for a couple weeks, and it makes so much of a difference to have a fresh clean binder i realized that i did that binder two years ago so it's definitely been worn and needed an upgrade so in this video like i said in the last i'm going to be organizing these guys into these binders and then the leftovers of these sheets i'm going to be giving away in that video and then in this video i'm going to have um, a giveaway which i'll leave information down below I'm going to be giving away, uh, uh, there'll be two winners, so you'll get a large and then a small sticker album from Mark from Once More Love. So I have two winners for that, so I'll leave all the information down below, but you just have to leave a comment and there will be information down below as well, more about that. So this is how these sticker albums come. They're like reusable sticker books. That's what it says in the front, I guess. So it's funny because I have been using books like these for... Forever. I think it was March 2018 I want to say I ordered one of these on Amazon I remember sitting and I had never seen anyone use them in the planner community before and I don't really even really like know why I googled it but I was like oh my god I had sticker books as a kid I mean I think even my parents had sticker books as a kid so 50-ish years like they're they've been around um so I looked online and I found this on Amazon and I remember showing it in a video and everyone freaked out and ever since then I feel like it's almost like a little bit of a planner staple is like a sticker book because they're so nice to put your extra stickers in whether you're organizing your functional extras your foil extras I want to do um, this one has my character and then this one has foil and I want to do a lot of like date numbers and stuff in here because I have so many sheets of like a couple date numbers that I want to kind of put in a spot and you know other things that may only have a couple of things that I want to put in there so it's kind of going to be like my overstock uh, almost low type sheets that I'm going to be putting in here uh, but I've had this one since March of 2018 or maybe it was February I don't know but I use it every single week so I have this sheet here that has like a bunch of stickers that sometimes I pull an extra one and then I throw it over here because I'm like oops I had it and then as the week goes on I just have some rose color days date headers and I went ahead and put all the stickers I need for whenever I plan so I can just go ahead day by day and have them all organized by the day um, and it works out really well for me and I just this has changed my life in so many ways so Mark came out with her own sticker book, which is obviously way prettier than that one. It's like super customizable, which I like. So this is how it comes. So it comes with her dashboard in there. Um, and then I went ahead and I made my own little covers. And what I did for this was I just took a piece of colored paper. So I picked a pink paper and then this peachy nude color, I guess. And then I just put acetates on the top of them. So I just cut down um, large ones, cut a front and back. This one here is from my shop. We do have bow acetate packs in the shop currently. And then the one from here is from Sparkly Paper Co. I don't know if this is still available in her shop, but it's a really pretty one. She has some really cool acetates, so definitely check her out as well. We also have a star one in the shop. So I think that turned out really cool, really pretty, really chic. And I think it looks way better than this then with its sparkly cover. I have a pink one too. I think I bought the yellow one first, then I was like, obviously I need pink. Um, so really love these. Um, so what I'm going to do is this one's going to be like my foil and stuff, which I, if you guys want to see a video, let me know. I'm going to take these, which I did use to organize my characters, and I'm going to put them um, at the top here. I'm going to do math and figure out like if I need to put two per page or one per page. And I'm going to just put these in the same way that I have them in my character stickers. And then I will be back.
plug these in. I didn't put them in alphabetical order. I put them in the same order as I had them in my, um, what's it called? In my character sticker area. And now what I'm going to do is literally just go through every single sticker sheet. Um, I'm not going to take everything off of these. A lot of them are in here because honestly just don't see for see myself you know going through these anytime in the near future and like sometimes I have like a sheet of like one thing that I maybe will use one of those stickers in like a hundred years so I just decided that I needed to just take a couple off and just get rid of them because I have a lot of sheets like that I already went through because I had to charge my camera and I pulled out all of the D stash sheets of stickers that I literally just don't need um, and I already put those in like a little cello bag because like I said um, oh, I got some schmutz in here that's okay I don't really care um, like I said I don't need I don't remember what I said uh, oh those stickers that are in there will be given away in the other video I don't know if the winner will be have chosen for that by this time, but I'm filming this video before the other video has been posted. So I am just going through, like I said, and just picking a couple of stickers. Like these ones, I probably will just use like one of each. Because realistically, will I use that many strawberry shortcake stickers? No. So then those are done. These are not done, but I'm going to just, I'm going to do these like in samplers last because they're going to take forever, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. I did all of my sheets in here and these are what I had left which I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my declutter pile but I do have all of these samplers to do I'm gonna do them off camera because my camera is like overheating constantly because this does take a really long time so I'm gonna go through and just pull apart these and I will be back okay so I have finished I didn't put anything in here yet just because this has taken forever. Marga like de like a bazillion stickers into hers and I really, like it must have took days. 
Um, so this is the giveaway stash for the other video. So that will be given away whenever that video goes up. And then here is my finished book. So I went ahead and stuck a ton of stickers in here. I'm just going to do a quick little flip through for you guys so you can see. And I think it looks really cute. So a great way to use these up would be instead of pulling out your entire character binder or however you store your character stickers first, would be to take a little look-see through here and then I can start using these up faster. And then it's not like... It's definitely using them a little better and they're way more organized, especially the, the little freebie samplers because I never knew what I had. And I think that they look really cute with these little covers. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it somewhat in some way entertaining. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. The information will be in the description box down below. And like I said, there will be two winners. Um, and I think that's everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one.